I wanted to find a quick and easy way to make some really pretty looking soap without having to go through the hassle of actually making soap from scratch. So I went to the shop and I bought the most mediocre soaps I could find and we're going to turn them into really pretty soaps today. So I watched a bunch of videos online on how to melt soap and the method seems to be as simple as we grate it and then we melt it. So let's give it a try. This soap cost me 50 cents. I like the colour. It smells like soap. <laughs> The smell reminds me of my Nana's um, bathroom. She always just had this kind of soap. So I bought a bunch of those ones, but then I also bought a like, more fancy soap because it has a really nice smell to it. I'm kind of hoping it's a little pink so that we can uh, add a little bit of color. Ooh, oh, it's pretty. It smells like buttery flowers. Does that make sense? I've never heard someone use that term before. Really soft floral smell. So this is what we're working with. I bought two of these ones and then a bunch of the cheapy ones. Let's get grating. I also only eyeballed how much soap I'm gonna need. I actually have no idea how much I'll have once it's all melted. I think this is gonna take much longer than we want it to take. Bit of a workout on the hand. <laughs> you getting anywhere? Ooh, looks like white chocolate. Yum. Okay, we've made it to the final two. It's when it gets to here that you start to wonder if what you're doing is worth it. It's a dangerous game to play. I could lose a finger. Like, when do you stop? When do you say, when do you say no, it's time to think of your fingers? One more to go. Next round, we gotta boil some water. And I only got one little cut. Okay, so now we can add our soap into the double boiler. Okay. This looks like a lot of soap. Like, I don't know if this is gonna melt down to nothing or if I'm gonna have this much soap. So it seems like they first put it onto a high or medium to high heat and then they lower it down. So I'm just gonna follow that. I'm gonna let it heat up and then we'll see. Apparently this process will take a while. So in the meantime, we're gonna to put together our mold. Oh, and also they mentioned that you should put in some water. So basically the more water you put into this, the longer it's gonna to take to cure. So I don't know, I think we'll just let it start melting and then we'll add bit by bit. Okay, this is my container. It's an old candle box. Uh, I don't know, I feel like I like I like the size of it, so we're gonna go with that. I'm gonna line it with some greaseproof paper. I'm kind of winging this, I've never done it, but how hard could it be? And then this last word, this. A little like that. And so, okay, this can be hard, I'm struggling here. I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming to be an expert. This is what I've got. I'd also like to just throw out there that I'm also not an expert in soap making. I've never done it before. I just wanted to try it out for fun. Okay, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of water to kind of help the process along. They say to use like the tiniest amount, like I think a teaspoon or two, they said. So it's been an hour and this is where we're at. I mean, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. I've added water. Maybe I didn't add enough water. An hour, an hour of just, you can see some pieces are clumping together, but not enough, come on. I added a little bit extra water, and I'm afraid to add too much because some people have mentioned that you shouldn't add too much, but then others have like poured loads of water, so look, I have no idea. This is a long process. So I have seen some people do it where they put the wax into the pot and they just do it straight from there, but there's a bigger chance of burning your wax if you do it that way. Oh, I scorched it. So I didn't want to go with that method. So this is where we're at. I'll check back in with you in half an hour. Okay, it's been about almost three hours now and this is where we're at. I'm gonna add a little bit more water in and then we're gonna try and get a, um, I'm gonna try and get a mashed potato style consistency. I'm just kind of running out of patience at this stage. It's been taking forever. This took all day. 
I'm actually beginning to wonder if the I should change to a pot and just really get the heat on it for the last little bit. Maybe this is a stupid idea. It's okay. I'm born to make stupid ideas. Let's see how we get on with this. The reason why I didn't do it this way in the first place is because it's easier to burn the soap. But now that it's near the end, I can keep a close eye on it. So we'll see. And apparently I have to be extremely quick and putting it into the container. Just one more little bit of water. Nobody has to know that was a lot of water. That's a lot of water. Now it's starting to look like mashed potato. So I actually needed more water than I thought I needed. Maybe the process would have been quicker if I actually just added that water in earlier on rather than later. I'm pretty happy with this. I like the color too. I have to shove it all in and work quickly because apparently the water evaporates so quickly that it dries straight away. Something like that. Put it down. Now we'll have to leave them for at least 18, 24 hours uh, until we can take them out of their mold and kind of cut them up and let them dry for apparently two to three weeks. We'll see. The question is, how do you clean this? Nobody made a tutorial on how you clean this. I don't think. Never mind. It's soap. <laughs> it's soap. I could just put water in it. It'll go soapy. Never mind. See you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. I left them to dry overnight. You're supposed to give them two to three weeks to completely dry out, but I think they're good enough now to try and take out and see how they look. Okay. Honestly, given that these are like a total of four or five euros, I think it's looking kind of good. We'll cut them and give them a nice shape and try and make them look a bit store-bought. <laughs> oh my God, it smells lovely. They feel super silky soft and they smell so luxurious. So I've seen a few people use a crinkly knife, but I don't have one of those. I have a simple basic knife. So I'm just going to kind of cut around and try and make them look prettier. I don't want to take much off the edge, but if I can get... Let's just try this, huh? I feel like it's really intense moment all of a sudden. Don't mess up, you're so close to the end. I mean, I suppose you don't have to do this if you want a nice rough type of look. I don't know if I'm making things better or worse. I think I'll have a look on Pinterest to kind of get an idea of exactly the kind of cut I want before I cut them. Yeah, I kind of like these ones. I think I'll go in kind of this direction. Okay, I'm just going to place this one on top. So now let's wrap them up. I think the most aesthetically pleasing to me is using some twine and some paper. So let's start with doing that, but I have a few other options that I want to show you also so that you can kind of do what works best for you. So I'm gonna take this old paper, which I had from some old packaging, and we're gonna cut it up. Give it a organic kind of vibe. What I like about this is that you can add like a little note on it to make it personal or just someone's name. I'm gonna wrap it on like so. And then just using a bit of sellotape, we'll just place it on top. And you can leave it at that, or you can add some twine. You can play around in many ways. And there you have one cute little so far. Now you can spruce this up a little more if you want to, so we can add a little bit of twine to it. Do a little bow around it. I just wanna show you how to make one using like plastic. I've got these ones from flowers that I received, um, and I just kept the plastic off them. So I'm just gonna take one. Just gonna put the plastic open a little bit side and then we're just going to take some twine again and wrap it around it just to kind of give it a nice cute little look you could also use if you have any ribbons or i've got this cute one here which you could use but i think i want to go for the rustic look because they do have that kind of vibe going on and just keep it as straightforward as they come all in all what do i think listen 
I went to the shop and I bought bars of soap that were 50 cent each and then the two pretty ones they were like 80 cents each and if all I have to do is melt them together mmm smells like roses and I can make these pretty little soaps to give us gifts. Do you ever get like when you need a gift just to go to somebody's house and you're just saying hello or whatever and you just want to give them a little something? This is it. This is perfect. You could make loads of these and just have them in your house and ready to give out as you go along. Now everybody in my family and friends know that I could do this and they'd be like, well, that's just cheap soap, Eva. But it's the thought that counts, isn't it? Like, look at this. This is cute. I'm happy with how these turned out. The colors are cute. I love that the little specks uh, the ones that didn't melt completely stead in it, they kind of give it a lot of character. I think this one's kind of my favourite. I like that you can put a little message on it. I would definitely do this again. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy this video too. Bye!